hundreds of thousands of animals. But the magic of Mara is more than just watching wildlife. In the heart of this wilderness, there are some of the finest hotels in Africa. Rooms here can go for up to $1,000 a night, but that buys an experience you will never forget. You can even watch the wildebeest crossing from your king-size bed. Those are elephants you can see in the distance. But it's very tasteful too. Our architecture is uh, borrowed heavily from the local uh, Maasai uh, designs. So in this case, the Mara Serena is designed like the local Maasai Manyatas. You can see that from uh, the shapes of the roofs. You can as well see that from the colors. Uh, from the outside, it's like the mud houses. And from the inside, uh, the bright colors uh, of the Maasai people. Like any other high-end hotel, there's a menu to die for. Some exotic dishes, some more traditional. Every Saturday we normally do all the Kenyan meals. There's a gym too. A spa for pampering after a hard day photographing lions. And of course, a pool. This one is to be expanded to cater for more overheated tourists. Anything missing? Chabo, madam. Welcome to Mara Serena. Thank you very much. Here with me is a safari moito. It's very ideal after a whole day safari. And I can recommend that, I can recommend that for you. And what do you have there? This one is also another special one. You can see it is in a Maasai uh, special pot. A calabash. For information, to, we source it just from the locals. And uh, we, what is inside is a very special drink. Mm -hmm. And for information, it was invented in Kenya. We call it a dawa. You call it dawa? Yes. Dawa, that's Swahili word for medicine. For medicine. Right. And uh, in this one, we have made it a very special vodka from wheat paste. We call it a kettle one. Have you heard of it? No. Please, I can recommend this one for such a nice day. I would think, Christopher, the reason why it's called dawa, yes. I would think, correct me if I'm wrong, yes. but that's because... Uh, it's a very popular drink, I think, here in Kenya with people who have a flu. Is that true? Yes, and uh, it Kenyan, it's from the Kenyan Met. One of the Kenyan uh, bartenders invented this. What people don't know is uh, there's always something happening in the Mara. For example, uh, after the wildebeest uh, have left, they normally have uh, cleared all the tall grass. So that is now becomes the best time to view the cats, for example. So uh, for cat lovers, they'll not mainly come over the, uh, uh, this period of the migration. They'll come la much later on. The hotel has hosted a wide variety of guests, including heads of state. Oh, there are many, uh, including uh, some of our, uh, our former president, uh, uh, Mwai Kibaki. Uh, recently, more recently, we hosted uh, the former president of Ghana uh, just before he, uh, he finished his term. So, if we don't get to see a crossing, there's always the chance of sharing breakfast here with a celebrity. Kenya sells the Great Migration as the total tourist experience. Even so, the hospitality industry is just getting started. Newcomers are springing up around the Mara each year. Penina Karibe, CGTN, Masai Mara, Kenya.